Here's an example of how to use SAS to access the postal code conversion file plus. First thing we have to do is start up SAS and we'll bring SAS up on the screen. And there's SAS. And the next thing we'll do is open up the folder where the SAS programs etc are located on my hard drive and they're located in my case on the desktop in a folder called PCCF6A1 and if I open that folder this shows you where you would install the postal code conversion file uh, files which you would get from Statistics Canada or through the Data Liberation Initiative. And this is the layout for the files. The two places that you need to be most concerned with are the programs which sort of sit outside the folders and there will be a sample program provided by Statistics Canada and in the sample directory. And the sample directory contains a number of files um, that work with this this uh, postal code conversion file. Um, I've included a number here. Um, the one that I'm going to focus in on is the initial uh, postal code file that we want to work with which is in a text file pcodes1.txt and if I open that file up you'll see that it's just a listing in, uh, in a text file of postal codes with no space then a space and then an ID number and what the postal code conversion file expects is not a flat ASCII text file like this, but rather a file in SAS dataset format. And those files all have the extension SAS7BDAT. Um, so really what we're going to try and do first is create a SAS dataset from the pcode one file that we've got and the way we'll do that is to jump back up to the main directory and start this program which I've labeled read pccf onesas and if I double click on that I will open up this file within my SAS program and there's the program and in a nutshell what it does and I've just given a, a, a comment here to show what your file format has to be but what it basically does is it will read in the postal code and the ID and then format it appropriately for use within SAS and so what we're gonna do is run this program which is already set up to uh, the directory up here where I've got my data sitting right up here and then I'm also telling it where the actual data sits in the file name step and so if I run this, it goes away and, and one of the outputs is a listing of the data that's in the ASCII text file. If I close this down and minimize SAS, I can see that in my sample directory, I now have a file called myfirst.sas7bdat. That file, if I open it up, an actual data set in SAS format that mimics the same data that I had in the text file. So that is an input file that we need now for the postal code conversion file to do its work. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to shut SAS down and start from scratch. I'm going to go into SAS and run this program, this user data 6 program, which I've set up based on the original program provided by Statistics Canada. One of the first things that we have to do is note that within SAS we have a program here that requires some inputs. There's initial description but then if you scroll down this is the area where you need to make some changes and so these changes start with step one and step two and three and four and five and so on. What you need to do is make the changes here that match your setup. So you need an install directory. This is the directory where all of my postal code conversion file files are located. 
then you need to specify the input data library and that is the directory where my data is located which is in the sample directory within this parent directory and we also have to provide the name of the input file which in this case is a file called myfirst.sas7bdat but here it does say specifically with no extension so we just give the name of the file not the extension the third thing we have to do is provide a name for the file output and this is my first underscore out and this will generate both a data set that links the postal codes to census geography that's the standard output from the postal code conversion file plus but it will also generate a file with an underscore problem suffix that gives you all the problems that may have arisen from your conversion third thing you have to provide is uh, a place where an output file can go and this output file contains uh, a summary in .pdf format so Adobe Acrobat format and that looks like the all we have to change for this time because we don't really want to change from residential or institutional we'll stay with residential and we don't need to change for this uh, British Columbia FSA uh, flag but if we scroll down a little bit further, one of the things that I didn't note earlier, but I'm going to note now, is the fact that the format that the data that I input is here. And this in the default program, this ID format in the input program is $1.5 period. So it's a character uh, variable with 15 uh, spaces, 15 characters. I've changed it to $10 because that's what the input file format I've got is. So Having done that, you basically then just come up to the top here and click on Submit, the little running man, and the program will go in and run for you. I'm going to um, pause the uh, recording at this point and we'll come back to it when the, when the program is run. Now that the program has run, we have an output file. This is the summary PDF file that comes up. And what this file does is gives us a summary of what the postal code conversion file did for us. And um, you can see in this that it does have a, a range of, of output information. It tells you about retired postal codes, um, matches with random allocation, so on and so forth. So it's, it's really something that you'll need to look at the um, postal code conversion file documentation to interpret better. Um, if I minimize that and go back there is a log file down here as well and the log file is quite long and lists off all of the things that the SAS program did on your behalf it's actually quite complicated or at least it seems to me to be quite complicated and I generally don't look at this unless there are problems and if there are problems then this will tell you what the source of the problems are um, perhaps not terribly clearly but it'll give you some hint as to where your um, problems may have arisen the other thing you have to note is that um, we have in this uh, output um, two files as I mentioned before we, we had a file um, listed down here my first underscore out and that's where your um, postal code conversion output is, the one with the, that you really want, which is the link between the uh, postal code you provided and the census geography that you're interested in. So where are those located? Well, the way to find those is within SAS, go into the Explorer window, and then go into Libraries, and then go into Work, this Work uh, folder, and there's my first out and you can't see what the rest of it is but this one is the in, in fact the uh, actual results file that you want this is the problem file I'm just clicking quickly on the problem file we'll see that it didn't have any observations that means that there were no problems on this particular file if I open up the my first out file this one is actually called work my first underscore out and this file is the one that actually links up the ID the postal code and all of the census geography uh, and fields that you'd be interested in looking at and this is the one that um, a lot of researchers will will want to make use of and that is uh, this quick introduction to SAS the postal code conversion file plus and getting these things to run